Okay, so this is just basically reminding you what is our constitution? It's basically our rule book. If you like football or you like any kind of sport like that, you know that the coach writes their plays in something called a rule book or a playbook, sorry. That is basically what you can consider our constitution. It's where if we don't know what's going on or we need to remember a certain thing about our government, we go here. We go to the Constitution. Can someone tell me what the first paragraph of the Constitution is called? What is the intro of the Constitution called, Isaiah? We the people. So it starts with we the people, but what is the paragraph? It starts with the P. What is it called? Is it an issue if we don't remember? The preamble. The preamble. Guys, take a second, write it down. I'll give you a minute. The intro to the Constitution is the preamble. You guys did it back here. Look back here. You wrote it. You drew it. The different parts of the preamble. So take a second and write it down. The intro to the Constitution is the preamble. Or the preamble is the intro. Legislative, executive, and judicial. Good job, Renee. 
Okay. This is where we're going to get into the meat and potatoes of what you're going to be learning today. This is what you're actually going to be focusing on. So go ahead and write it down in your notes. Write this down right here. You are writing this down right here in your notes. Nope. In your notes. Not in the worksheet, in your notes. Write that down. I'll give you two minutes to do something. Have one volunteer, please read this out for me. Angel, go ahead. Three branches of government. The legislative branch makes the law, the executive branch performs the law, the judicial branch implements and applies the law. The accumulation of all powers of the legislative, the legislative, and the judiciary at the same time may just be based on the very definition of sovereignty. So, this is a really interesting quote. Do you know what accumulation means? So accumulation is like when you like, let's just say put something together, okay? So let's say if you put legislative, executive, judicial in the same hands, if one person has the power of all three branches, that is the definition of what? What is the vocab word that they said it would be? Tyranny. Tyranny. What is tyranny? Can you talk about it? What is tyranny? Yes, sir. It's like destruction. Yes, sir. What is, the, what is, what, where is it out 
Constitution. Where is it outlined in the Constitution? So let's see if you guys can put this together. Where is the legislative branch outlined in the Constitution? Keep LEJ in mind. Where is it outlined in the Constitution? Do you guys remember? So L, is that the first letter? Yeah. In LEJ? So then that means the legislative branch is found in Article oh. 1. Oh. The executive branch is Article 2, and the judicial branch is Article 3, L-E-J. So go ahead and fill in the top of your graphic organizer. Where is it outlined in the Constitution? If you have a question, now we need Weeks ago, but Congress is. 